Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just want to be super honest with you guys and tell you guys why I have moved over to softcore uh, for this league and potentially maybe even future leagues from uh, from here on out. And I'm not really sure on that, but let's go ahead and kind of talk about it. So first off, this isn't a raging video or anything. Uh, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys and how I feel the game has been developing over the five years that I've been playing it. Um, so I want to show you this really quick clip. Okay, so uh, in the comments below, feel free to type out what you think happened. Now, I want to explain a few things before we go over this deck. Or, well, I guess we're going over it right now. So this is a build currently that is using Fortify for 20% reduced damage taken. I have a Rumi's Flask on, which puts us at like 34% block. Uh, but more importantly, we're at about 12,000 armor, maybe 11k, so pretty decent. Um, I'm using a Tukahama's Fortress, so for each totem down, I have additional armor, so that plus the granite puts us at about, um, like I said, like 11k armor, which is okay, it's nothing crazy. I've got a Basalt Flask on, which is further 15% reduced physical damage taken. Furthermore, um, if you look here at this little red circle, I'm playing the Chieftain, and as a Chieftain, when you, if you go through the totem route, uh, enemies near your totems, which is this little red debuff, also deal less damage. So... Um, basically my fortify helps mitigate from elemental damage and so does my basalt or sun not basalt the totem reduction helps do it um, this character is wearing a tabula rasa so i don't have like a lore weave or anything special but you know even with a tabula rasa it's still pretty above average forms of defense i would say um, and this character literally if we go to 0 0.25 speed just gets instantly killed by this little this swipe a swiper goal now, um, there is one thing I could have done to prevent this um, from dying, and I'm going to go ahead and explain this right now. So there's this stat in the game that used to be overlooked, but now is pretty much mandatory if you decide to play hardcore or if you don't want to die from random one-shots called Indomitable which reduces the extra damage from critical strike. Now, you can, I believe, craft this via Shaper slash Elder on some pieces of gear. Uh, Belt the Deceiver adds this as well. I think Minotaur's chest piece might add it. There's a couple ways of acquiring reduced damage from critical strikes, but I feel that the way Path of Exile is developing is really off-putting for me for hardcore. I remember before you could really create a custom build and you could go ahead and progress through the maps and sure if you weren't playing a meta build maybe you were clearing three times slower than others you know maybe you weren't utilizing double dipping and you weren't one-shotting bosses but everything was pretty much manageable you know i feel nowadays with power creep being at an ultimate high and players being able to freeze entire screens at a time or running with a support who's running, you know, max curse effect, enfeeble, temporal chains, um, just reducing everything's threat to pretty much a minimum, GGG has kind of taken that and, and scaled content against the, or around those types of players. <coughs> now, I'm not asking for the game to be easier, nor is anyone really asking for the game to be easier. It's just... I don't know, I feel like the game has kind of lost a lot of its value that it used to have, or just, in general, the hardcore sense. I don't really have much of a thrill anymore. I feel in these past couple of leagues, and we're not even talking about on-death effects such as, you know, uh, Volatile Dead, which has gotten a lot better, Bearers, which have gotten a lot better, Behemoth's Vol Detonate Dead, which has gotten a lot better, uh, better. Boss Detonate Dead, Beyond Detonate Dead, Strongbox Detonate Dead, or Vol Detonate Dead, uh, those weird little lightning walkers that follow you, um, are the arachnid, whatever they're called, the things that killed me in hardcore this league, detonate dead. We're not even talking about those. We're just now talking about generic monsters being able to just one-shot kapow you unless you have absurdly high defenses that not every build can get. It's impossible. You know, not every build even then should have all of these forms of defenses. Now, if you're trying to delve in the ridiculous things, like, you know, I mean, we're talking about delve, let's say even 400 plus, that's completely understandable. That content is not balanced at all. But I mean, this is this is delve 270 with just monster damage. <clears throat> this is content that players, regular players should be doing because when you're in this depth, you're in the highest monster level. So you have the best returns when it comes to maps. And as we all know, Players have a terrible time sustaining maps. Even in Delve League, it's a lot easier. 
So, I don't know, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on on basically these crazy one-shots that are happening left and right, because, I don't know, it, it really is, like I said, it's putting me off from attempting a lot of more fun builds, because I just tell myself, I can make this character that's really cool and really niche, but it's not utilizing all of these ridiculous forms of defense that other players are using, like, you know, uh, 13,000 energy shield occultists with max regen, or fully fizz and elemental immune pathfinders, or just in general playing absurdly tanky juggernaut builds. Um, you know, what do you, how do you guys feel about this? Even though, because I'm, I'm still kind of like hardcore player mentality, so when I die in softcore to something that is truly my fault, like this was my fault, you know, I was out of position, not that I really could do anything because, you know, monsters move so fast with turbo mobs and uh, this is a taunt immune map, which means that I can't even pull the target away with my totems. Um, but like, I really want to know how you guys feel with the rate at which Path of Exile is speeding up because I truly don't think there's anything they can really do about it, you know? I think that the people that are going to continue to play hardcore are going to kind of play virtually the same builds, um, which has been proven, you know, as a hardcore player. My favorite build that I played in hardcore is probably Life RF and Low Life RF and Death's Oath Occultist. One of them has 13,000 HP, which was RF. The other one has 13,000 Energy Shield, which is Low Life RF. And the other one has max curse effect and can curse immune monsters, so the chances of you dying is very minimal unless you're bossing or you die to on hit effects. And, you know, say I want to play a trapper, I can't really have those defenses. I can blind and have all this evasion and stuff, but what happens when a target like this hits you as an evasion build? You die. Like, you, you won't live. You really, uh, like, it's not, you, you're not going to live. <laughs> I know because this guy is more tanky than most builds and he got one shot and this is not something that just happens randomly If you're doing this content, it's gonna happen all the time now when you're mapping It's a lot more controlled because you're not as forced to go in the speed meta But there is still that random chance that you know that one archer a screen away has all of these crazy buffs with powerful crits shoots and just you know instantly pings your character and you fall over I feel that the way they've been addressing the power creep since people, like I said, are just shattering and freezing everything on the screen is having these crazy overtuned monsters. <clears throat> and the other option is just putting phases on every single boss because people are just instantly phasing bosses. So I think the real trick is they make phase bosses because you lose all of your charges. And if you're not playing a Pathfinder or a Scion, then you lose your flask up time and then you don't have your real forms of mitigation. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know uh, the reasons that I'm playing softcore. Like I said, this isn't meant to be a bashing or a rant video. I'm truly just curious on what you guys think and what GG's approach is for the future because at the end of the day, I'm going to try to enjoy myself as much as possible. I'm going to have fun and I've played this league quite a bit already. You know, I've actually, just to show you guys, I got my I got my Starforge off my second Shaper kill. Uh, I was really happy to find the Starforge. That was super, super fun. Um, and we'll still continue to progress through the Atlas on Softcore. Uh, we're 143 of 159, and I am enjoying myself very much so. <clears throat> anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, by the end of Softcore, or hopefully by the end of the next couple of days, I hope to be killing... Where is this dude? Uh, he's here somewhere. Where is Nico? I hope to be killing... I don't know why this shit is so laggy, actually. That's so weird. Uh, the Crystal King. Where is Mr. Crystal King? Here, I have died, I think, 16 times to Crystal King because trying to kill him with Shockwave Totem is very interesting. I'm not sure if you guys have ever fought all as Shockwave Totem, but it's not very fun. Uh, we've got him down to like 35%, but the problem I noticed with the fight is I think when I summon Totems and he does his like his phase where he kind of shoots out the, the guards and stuff... I'm pretty sure they target the totem sometimes, or it's because I hit phase run and they target things randomly. That's pretty much the main thing we're trying to focus on. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts on the video. And as always, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody. I hope I'm not lagging IRL as well.